Hello everyone, welcome to Messages channel and today in this video I'm going to show you 5 tips and tricks to tackle any bushes, tree or foliage. Tip number 1 is going to help you set the foundation for your foliage painting but tip number 5 is what really going to take your painting from a good painting to a great painting. So make sure you watch all 5 to have a fantastic painting. Number 1, you got to treat your tree or foliage as a 3D geometry shape. For example, this first one here is basically like a half of a sphere shape or this second one is just a bunch of sphere shape put in together or the third one is just a bunch of cone shape put in together. So drawing 101, we all know how to draw a sphere. So we have the highlight and the shadow. So keep that in mind. We're going to apply the exact same thing, the very basic thing here for the tree and the foliage. Once you start treating them, as these geometry shape, having the shadow and highlight, it's gonna make your painting look so much better and so much easier to tackle any sort of trees or foliage. Now tip number three is to have a different hue for your shadow and highlight. Now you notice here I have all different colors for my shadow and highlights. The first one I have a dark blue color for my shadow and then I have a yellow for the highlight. Uh, now for the second one I have a dark brown red color for the shadow and then I have this pink for the highlight and then for the third one again I have a dark blue for the shadow and a green for the highlight try to avoid using just a darker color for your shadow so for example you're thinking of painting a pink tree try to avoid a dark pink for the shadow or you want a green tree try to avoid dark green for the shadow it's just gonna make your painting really boring I mean, you can do that if you want people to call you yeah, basic. Yeah, so just have two different colors for your shadow and highlight will really make your foliage pop and more eye-catching. Tip number three is to have perspective for your foliage. Now, some of you may go, what? I thought perspective is only for cityscape or structure building. Well, that is not true. Perspective is also applied when you're drawing trees and foliage. So just keep in mind your foliage also have perspective and that means the foliage in the front of the painting going to appear more vibrant, more saturated than the one in the back. So for example, this one right here, I'm just going to use a soft brush to paint a little atmosphere on the edge of these tree here so they appear to be desaturated in the background, giving you more of that 3D illusion. Now tip number four is tree trunk matter and I mean for the longest time all I was care about is these leaves and these foliage and all the, this color but um, the tree trunk is matter it's part of the tree right so it will contribute to the look of your overall painting and keep in mind tree trunk is not always just brown color or dark brown they have all sort of color they can be light blue, dark blue, gray, pink as well. So it depends on the environment, on your leaf, on the season that you're trying to paint. Your tree trunk can have different color. And remember, just like the foliage, your tree trunk gonna have shadow and highlight as well. And tip number five, it took me a while to figure this out. So sometimes an artist teach you how to draw a foliage and then you follow them step by step and at the end your painting still not look as good as there and you wonder why because you follow the exact same step well let me tell you that is because of the environment the background of the foliage so it's not the foliage the bushes or the tree itself but rather the background is affect your tree as well so for example this pink tree right here if you have a pink building right behind it, then the tree is not going to look as good or as eye-catching. But if you put a blue sky behind it, now the tree become more pop. Or maybe you put a green grass field behind it. Now it's also going to look different. So just keep in mind, your background will affect your tree as well. So whatever color that you paint around the tree, make sure you add a little bit of those color onto the tree as well and that's called bounce light like this tree right here i have a little bit of the sky color a little bit of blue here for the bounce light same with this one and also do you notice these little 
grass, this little detail on the bottom of the tree here. These are small details, but it can add a great difference onto your painting. And that's what's the difference between a good painting to a great painting. So I hope these five tips helpful for you and you can go on and conquer any foliage, any tree painting. And if you find it helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.